The state's investigation into how Michigan State University handled its investigation into former gymnastics coach Larry Nasser is officially closed. Attorney General Dana Nessel making that announcement this morning. The AG says the 6,000 documents that the university had previously withheld from their investigation revealed nothing new in the case. New State's Megan Bunchman is in studio now with more about their findings. Brian Sue, the university continued to claim attorney-client privilege as the reason behind it not releasing those 6,000 documents until March of this year. Now, in 2018, Nasser was sentenced to prison for the possession of child pornography and sexually assaulting several girls at his home, his office at MSU, and an area gymnastics club. That same year, for me... Former Attorney General announced his office would conduct an independent investigation into the university's handling of Nasser. Now, six years later, that investigation has come to a close. To say that I am disappointed in this outcome is really an understatement. While we begin each investigation in pursuit of the truth and facts, first and foremost, and take criminal or civil charges as a secondary consideration, it is my belief that by withholding the remaining 6,000 documents, MSU unnecessarily prolonged that hope uh, that the questions survivors had would be answered and denied them closure that they were entitled to many years ago. Dana Nessel said she and her office spoke with some of the survivors in this case last night. Nessel reiterates that these young women have changed how society views now victims of sexual assault as survivors of sexual assault. Brian. Megan, thank you.